This next story is really, really, really interesting to me because uh, Trump's back. That's right. Former U.S. President Donald Trump dropped some information that is major. He's basically going uh, going to war with Twitter. He is uh, taking the gloves off in a big way. So an announcement was made that Trump is starting his own media company and part of the media company will have an app, uh, a apparatus to a social media site called the truth I think it's it's gonna make Trump a lot of money and he could be gearing up to run again that's what it's looking like to me he's gearing up for a run even at all or the biggest cash out in his life right now. But to me, I think he wants to run again. He he wants to prove he can get that seat back. I just think it's his ego. But let's get right here to the article. We're right here on Reuters. States, former U.S. President Donald Trump will launch his own social media app, Truth Social. That, he said, will stand up to big tech companies such as Twitter and Facebook that have barred him from their platforms. Truth Social will be created through a new company formed by a merger of Trump Media and Technology Group and a, a SPAC, which is a special acquisition company. That's a way of basically getting an IPO without having to go through an IPO and, and get a whole bunch of money, do a whole bunch of different ways. That's a financial thing for a whole different ship. Okay, it says... We live in a world where the Taliban has a huge presence on Twitter, yet your favorite American president has been silenced. This is unacceptable. And I get what he's saying. Why is somebody who's an enemy of the American state ban uh, allowed to be on the platform, but you will ban a former U.S. president? Especially now that we know, according to FBI reports, he did not incite. He did not help plan anything that took place in January the 6th. It was all unplanned. And actually some Capitol Police people are going down just for their participation and stuff into it. FBI agents were there. They knew what the hell was going on. But the media won't talk about that, I guess, because it's, you know, they make money talking about Trump. It's more important to talk bad about Trump than to give people facts, a.k.a. CNN and what they did with Joe Rogan. This is why people don't listen to them as much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's kind of hard to. Uh, it goes on to say, I'm excited to send out my first truth on the truth social very soon. TMTG was founded with a mission to give a voice to all. I'm excited to soon begin sharing my thoughts on truth social to fight Back against big tech. Uh, the social media, the social network set uh, set for a beta launch next month and a full rollout in the first quarter of 2022. It's the first of three stages in this company's plan, followed by a subscription video on demand service called TMTG Plus that will feature entertainment, news, and podcasts. In the slide deck, on this website, the company is eventually competing against Amazon Web Service and Google Cloud. Now, that's a big thing right there. Like, they, uh, Amazon Web Service dominates the industry. Google is the second biggest uh, entity in the cloud services. So, to be able to try to compete with them, that's big aspirations for a media company. You know what I'm saying? Right out the gate. That's really, really big aspirations. They have to have a lot of capital uh, to pull off something like that. But Trump is basically here to fight back. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, he was banned off social media because, again, what happened at June 6th. uh, Again, he didn't... I I can't take any sides. What people interpret his words to mean versus what the reporting came back to say was different. Was a lot different. Uh, and they banned him for the January 6th thing. Uh, January 6th was crazy. I was at work inside the Senate where it took place. I was there. It was crazy shit. I, I will say that. 
I would have never expected to be inside a government building and see it basically lose control of sectors of the perimeter. Not at the Capitol. Uh, the, one of the rooms I just finished setting up was completely destroyed before inauguration. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot of work on that. Pretty pissed, you know. But, you know, I made it out safe. That was the key to me. I made it home safe. Uh, let me go back to the article. It says, this deal will list Trump Media and Technology Group or NASDAQ through a merger with Digital World Acquisition Corporation, a blank check acquisition firm led by former investment banker Patrick Orlando. Trump Media and Technology Group will receive $293 million cash that Digital World Acquisition Corp had in its trust Assuming no shareholder of the acquisition firm chooses to redeem their shares. Orlando has worked with uh, Deutsche Bank and BT Capital Market has launched at least four SPACs and plans for two more according to his firm's website and regulatory filings. But none of the SPACs have completed a deal yet. China-based SPAC that Orlando led last month to complete a merger with Giga Energy Inc. that would have valued the transportation solution provider at $7.3 billion because he could not deliver the cash required. So, I mean, I don't think this deal is going to fall through. I'm pretty sure there are investors waiting to put money behind something they know Trump's going to go promote because Trump has a huge fan base. We can't deny that. He, there are people waiting to hear what Trump has to say, and this social media platform will give him the ability and access to communicate with the masses the way he wants to. They're going to make a lot of money from this deal. A lot of money from this deal. Uh, it's amazing, man. Some of this stuff is amazing when you go back and you see some of the money that's being thrown around in these situations. That's a lot of money that that company is just sitting on with it's a little surprising, but maybe they were waiting for some dominoes to fall in different places before they went to go make big acquisitions. Uh, I really think this company's gonna be worth over a trillion dollars if they could, uh, they can successfully roll out the first three phases that they talk about. This company's gonna be worth money because Trump's gonna have eyeballs on them enough to compete with some of these news companies and stuff because it ain't like their numbers are blowing people out of the water. Again, Joe Rogan told them. You're smaller than me, little guy. Watch your mouth. You're smaller than me. You shouldn't attack somebody who has a bigger voice than you because it makes you look stupid at the end of the day. It does. And since we're talking about our boy Trump, I didn't vote against Trump. I also didn't vote for him. I vote Green Party. Excuse me for being an a, a, a idealist. Believing in my ideology more than I believe in less of two evils. But if I had to choose between the less of two evils, if that's what you want to consider, I'm going with Donald Trump 100% over Joe Biden. And I would go listen back to like the first couple podcasts and you'll see. You would definitely see why. Uh, yeah, the Democrats ain't the party of that, you know, people think of it. I don't get the illusion there or the, the grips that they have on the minds of so many people. I feel like it's just a, a counterculture on both sides where people just hate the other side so much. And we got to get out the tribalism unless the tribalism is going to be nativism. And we all come together as actual Americans and, and you know, lead America to places that it's supposed to be. Get back to some of the uh, dreams that we had for America. It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles, you can get you some wine, anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now, make sure it's in the description.